Hey, it's uh, Square Coinman here, and today it's slightly different because I'm going to present some unrealized uh, Austrian banknotes. Um, last week, Austrian Stacker made a cute shout out video, and I appreciate that, but of course, I will answer something like that. Um, here on the left side, we have Johann Strauss, the, the younger one. Um, and this was the first design for the banknote and on the right we can see how the banknote turned out and the next famous Austrian is of course Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and we have an original uh, design here and this is how uh, the banknote turned out now uh, since we are in the artistic world I wanted to show you uh, one from Angelica Kaufman, which was a fantastic painteress. Uh, you can see on the top the design for the banknote, and it's quite similar to the actual banknote. And on the right, we can see a self portrait of her. So, she was a uh, fantastic artist. And then we have Moritz Michael Duffinger. And you probably wonder who is that? Well, he was a portrait painter, and here is a painting of Comtesse Esterhase, I hope I pronounce it correct. And Stecker, uh, Austrian Stecker, he also makes a lot of videos where he shows parts of Austria. Uh, and they're fantastic videos, and Austria is such a beautiful country. And last week I watched a video he made uh, about the castle of Ost Esterhase. Uh, so I thought I, I have to uh, include um, Moritz Duffinger in this series. Now, since he shows a lot of architecture in Austria, and believe me, it's such a beautiful country, you definitely should go there if you can, I have to include Otto Wagner. On the top you can see a pre-design and on the bottom you can see actually uh, how it turned out and again it's pretty close uh, the face is slightly different he looks a little bit more serious in it and then on the right we can see one of the pavilions he designed he designed a lot of um, Art Nouveau buildings and unfortunately enough I could not get any pictures without uh, violating copyright but if you google it you can definitely find some really beautiful things he made and then we have Julius Wagner Jaurich. Now Julius, he um, he was one of the people that worked with mental illness, but he's actually famous for finding a cure for malaria, and he won the Nobel Prize for that. Uh, so he deserved also to be shown. And again, on the left, you can see the pre-design on the right, what it actually turned out to. And then we have Sigmund Freud, and I, I think I don't have to explain uh, who he is. Um, most people will probably recognize uh, his name. And then we have Erwin Schrödinger. Uh, you see, the, the banknotes are quite similar. They, they changed a little bit um, the settings, but his picture is the same. Uh, they did some more security features on it. And of course, Schrödinger is mostly known for his work within quantum physics and Schrödinger's cat. And this one is... Uh, both of the notes you can see on the left uh, were never made, but it's really a pity because Anton Pilgrim is the, the Baumeister, the, the guy that was responsible for building the Stephenskirche, the Stephensdomkirche which is one of the most central uh, points in Vienna and it's fantastic. You can have a look inside here on the right. Um, he deserves definitely to have a banknote and it's a pity that these notes were never made. Now, we're almost at the end. Uh, Stecker only made a 13 second video so I'll try to keep this one short. Uh, we have here two notes that were also never made. Now on the left we have Peter Rossegger who is actually a, quite a famous uh, author and he write, wrote some fantastic books. And on the right we have 
Semmelweis. And Semmelweis was the first person that realized that hygiene and dead babies were actually connected. If you would wash your hands while uh, helping delivering a baby, the chance that the baby would survive was much bigger. So he also deserves to be on a bank note. Now sadly, both of these notes were never made. Um, and we are now close to the end of our journey. It's Sunday, it's just a little extra thing I did. Um, but I would like to thank the Geld Museum in Wien and the Austrian National Bank, uh, both of them helped me getting this information and I highly appreciate that. Thank you for watching.